If I got lucky. <laughs> this temple itself got lucky. In 1964, when the Egyptians started to build the Aswan Dam, it was moved here block by block to save it from being drowned. The Aswan Dam is modern Egypt's greatest engineering project, bringing electricity and water to the entire country. But it devastated Nubia, flooding 500 square miles of its land. When I look out over this lake, all I can think about is what we can't see. All the history of an ancient civilization that's been lost. Many of the people displaced by the dam now live in and around the city of Aswan. They still call themselves Nubians and are fiercely proud of their culture and history. Uh, surprise to me on this whole trip. There's even a program on local television called Nubian Treasures, hosted by Ezra Dahab. Stunningly beautiful. <laughs> You know, I'm an African-American, and African-Americans are in all colors, sizes, and shapes. When I look at the Nubian people on this boat, it's the same. They're all colors. Yes. Some are dark, some are light. Mm -hmm. But not, not all of them is Nubian, but I think it's most of them are Nubians. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, Nubians are having, uh, have some um, special features of, of the face, of the, uh, of the color. But uh, if I can see you, uh, I can say if you are Nubian or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, not only from the car, I think it's from the, the, the soul. The soul? Yes, from the soul. How about me? <laughs> I think you are Nubian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit Nubian, yes? You I look like Nubian men here in, uh, in Aswan. Are you really? Yes, I think so. And the, most of them, most of them saying Salaamu Alaikum, good morning to you. They think that you are from Aswan and you are Nubian. I like that. <laughs> I like you know, African Americans are obsessed with Nubia. They love Nubia. They want to. They don't even know where Nubia is. <laughs> but, they, but the one thing they know is that black pharaohs and it ran Egypt. And they think that it's the greatest of all the black peoples, the Nubian people. Yes, because Nubia is a part of Africa and the, the American African people, they are a part of Africa. I think their hearts, although they are living in America, I think their hearts, a, a, a piece of their hearts is still in Africa. Ezra has brought me to the only Nubian village that survived the flood. It's called Garb Eswan. Hey, the fruit is nice, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, this village, I can say that it looks like uh, the traditional Nubian village. Uh, all the Nubians are like the Nubians in the ancient villages. Uh, they still, till now, talking with the Nubian language, mm -hmm. they still, till now, wearing the Nubian clothes. They mm -hmm. stay till now, uh, having their traditions, tradition in, um, in all the occasions of their life, traditions on uh, uh, wedding and uh, celebrating. Uh, they say the same. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Since the loss of their land, Younger Nubians like Ezra are determined to preserve their own language and culture and want to find out more about their ancient history. This area which the Nubia, the real Nubia, was there. Uh, and now it's under the water. Yes, because the water covered every place there. Just the monuments we could save it and the people. When I was a boy, a little boy, mm -hmm. And the dam was being built. It was famous. People talked about it all over the world. Mm -hmm. But the black Americans in my hometown were very angry because they said it was racist. And I remember a woman, a school teacher, started a campaign to try to save Nubian culture because she, she said that the only reason they were building it here was to bury Nubian culture because Nubians were the black people. That, does it make you angry that Nubian civilization is buried under that lake? Not angry, but uh, it's make me sorry okay, because so. I, um, I dreamed that one day I, I could visit this place. I dreamed that uh, uh, if I could have the chance to to live uh, even one day huh. in the in the ancient Nubia, huh. because my father all 
told me many things about it. My grandfather and mother, and all the history books, or all, all the books which talking about the, the Nubia. And when I, I, I see the, the pictures of the, uh, the Nubia and the palm trees, which the, 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 the water is covering till the end, hmm. sometimes I, I cry. Yeah. Ezra wanted me to see where most Nubians live today. Balana was one of the villages specially built by the government 35 years ago for refugees from the flood. How far from the river are we? From the river? Yes, it's about two, qu two kilometers. Out. Uh, it's not uh, on the river. Uh, no. No, it's not Wait, on so the river directly. No. So it's a long way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They lost their close relationship with the Nile because in the ancient Nubia, there, uh, most of the houses were on the Nile. Just a few steps to let your feet touch the Nile waters. 68 tourists were killed by Islamic terrorists just a few weeks before I arrived, so security is tight. To be honest, I'm not sure who I'm more afraid of. These guys were the terrorists. Ezra was determined that I would meet Fazea Suleiman, whose family lost their home to the flood when she was only nine years old. Once the dam was completed, what effect did it have on your family and the other Nubian people? Did it cause your family pain, distress? Did it make her sad to have to move her family? لما حصل إن أنت هجرت ويعني هل حسيتي مثلاً إن عائلتك تأثرنا ولا حاجة إحنا بعد ما جينا استلمنا الأراضي. She's saying that the benefits of the dam more than every anything they they lost there. وزرعنا يعني ال الفلاحين العادين عندنا تبعنا. There is no pain for her family for moving from the ancient Nubia to the modern Nubian villages. She is very happy because now she has the chance to educate, to learn, and her children are in school learning. That's good. And she hopes that she will learn like them one day. But do you miss? Now I'm confused. She wasn't supposed to say that. She was supposed to be against the dam. But there's a policeman in the background. This is a nice lady. Clearly, has been programmed by the security police that are outside protecting us from terrorists or the threat of terrorism to say that building the dam was the greatest thing in, in her life, when in fact it was devastating to her and to her family and to her neighbors, all of whom were forcibly removed and dumped in this makeshift village. Once the policeman leaves, Fazea calms down. The older people, hmm. were they, did it upset them? Hmm. Did it make them angry? Did it hurt them when they were forced to move? She says that uh, most of the old, uh, old people during uh, moving, they were crying hmm. and saying uh, goodbye our land or uh, afialogo in uh, the Nubian uh, language, afialogo. Afialogo? Afialogo, yes. That's mean, uh. afialogo baladani, goodbye our land. She says she missed everything. It's become clear to me that I'm not going to find ancient Nubia here in Egypt. South of here, in the Sudan, I've heard that ancient Nubian cities have survived out in the desert. It's just my luck that the border's closed. So I've got to go all the way back to Cairo, then fly south to Khartoum before driving north again on a 2,000-mile round trip to the heart of ancient Nubia. My family and my friends think that I'm out of my mind to be going to the Sudan. All we ever hear about the Sudan is that it's in a state of civil war, it has a fundamentalist Islamic government, and it hates Americans. So I'm kind of nervous. 